Hello everybody and welcome to the WCF show. I am here with my partners Will and Franklin and I am your host Chris. You can call us in at 1-800-SPORTS-TALK and today we will be discussing about the NBA. We'll start with the top three teams in the Eastern Conference and then go to the top three teams in the Western Conference. But guys, top three teams in the Eastern Conference, any thoughts? Um, definitely the Celtics. Yep. Probably the Raptors. Why the Raptors? I mean, they're so far down. Any reason to support that? Well, because they're like getting quiet, and I would think they're gonna like get be the top. Yeah. I think the Raptors. That that was a bad deal for Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is not happy there. He hasn't like said hi to them once. David Robinson's mad at him. The Raptors respect David Robinson. I really think that the Raptors, no, they have no chance. Kawhi's their only superstar on their team. Danny Green is okay, but no, I think it was Any good. thoughts for the third team in the uh, Eastern Conference? No. All right. So, Will, what are your thoughts on the top three teams of the Eastern Conference? Well, we looks like we have a caller, and Oh, yeah, we have from, Luke in Boston. So you guys have said the top two? And I was going to say, I would say my second team in the East would be the 76ers, not the Raptors. So I was wondering what your thoughts were on that. Yeah, I mean, I like the 76ers. They're definitely a young team, uh, good pieces. Ben Simmons, Joel Embiid. I think it's a matter of staying healthy as well. Uh, they have really good veteran pieces like J.J. Redick. Um, but I think they need... I think they need to stay healthy, of course. That was a problem for all the guys. Markel Fultz, we'll see if he does. But I like their team. I think, yeah, definitely a two or three seed in the East will be top, but I don't see them getting higher than the Celtics. But I like that point. All right, now let's move to the West. The first team in the West heavily favored the Golden State Warriors. Second team in the West, any thoughts on that? Well, I, I think, you know, obviously Warriors are number one. Um, you look maybe Lakers, two, Houston, you know, then after you get to those top three teams, I think there's kind of a drop off. Then you go to teams like the Nuggets, the Trailblazers, Portland. So I don't know who are, who are your uh, second team. Well, it looks like we have a caller, Andrew oh. from uh, Iowa. Hey guys, um, what do you think about the Spurs chances this year? Uh, well, the Spurs. I mean, I don't know. I, I think Demar Derozan is a nice piece for them, but. You know, Tony Parker just went to the Hornets. Tim Duncan retired last season. They're kind of falling off towards, you know, out of the playoffs. Um, you know, if they are in, I think DeMar DeRozan will have a big year, 7 8 seed, tops. But any thoughts on that, guys? Yeah, well, I have a thought. I'd say that the Spurs are more like the Raptors. They have one superstar. They're probably not going to make a top three team. I'd say I'd switch up your thing. I'd put the Lakers three, the. Um, Rockets too. The Rockets, Carmelo Anthony, he's a very good player. Um, well, he's kind of washed up now, but they also have Chris Paul and James Harden, who are main points in their offense. Okay, guys, we move on now to the NBA Finals predictions. Franklin, any thoughts on the NBA Finals? Uh, I think it's going to be either the, for the East, it's either going to be the 76ers or the Celtics, and for the um, the West, it's going to either be the Rockets or the Warriors. Yeah, Will, any thoughts on that? Well, I'm saying this is pretty heavily favored. The Warriors, Celtics. Celtics have three All-Stars on the team. The Warriors have five All-Stars. Um, even though uh, DeMarcus Cousins will not be playing half the season, that's still four All-Stars that could pretty much easily ruin every single team. Yeah, that would be definitely a fun matchup to watch. But I think a sleeper team in the Eastern Conference is the Washington Wizards. Um, I know you know they were an 8 seed last year, but John Wall, Bradley Beal, I think that team will work pretty well in the pick and roll with Dwight Howard. Um, I, I really like that team coming out of the Eastern Conference. You know, the Celtics, they had a little bit of trouble last year stumbling over the Cavaliers in a seven-game series. So I, I think the East is kind of, you know, up for grabs there. I think Celtics probably are the heavy favorites, but you look know, at the Warriors, they have that Western Conference locked down. Um, but the Eastern Conference kind of up for grabs. There are a few teams that can uh, be there. But I'm going to go Warriors-Celtics is my prediction. And that will wrap it up for the show. We're done here. My partners Franklin and Will, this has been the WCF Show, and we'll see you next time.